The school trip is today, and welcome back everyone who has joined me on this journey so far to Persona 4 Golden. Today's episode, we are going on the school trip. I am very excited. We're going to Tatsumi Port Island for three days and two nights. My only regret here is that I want to work our night job, and it's only available for the days we're going to be gone. Gekukon High School. Oh, Gek that's from uh, it's from Persona 3. This is the high school from Persona 3. Wow, what's up with this place? This school's way too big. Wait, if we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. I mean, yeah, I, I, I do not remember a lot about Persona 3. Um, I did not ever beat the game. Maybe played maybe like 10 to 12 hours into it. Uh, but I do remember GeckoCon. Because uh, their outfits are really interesting, to be fair. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Oh, is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Chie, he'll hear you. Chie, you're gonna get us all in trouble. <laughs> Our school is closed today. But uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange... Why is there a school closed on a Thursday? Is there something here that I'm not getting? Some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. Thank you, Principal. I'm sure this is a character from the third game, from Persona 3. I just do not remember her. to Gekko-Kan High School. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third year student and the student council president here at Gekko-Kan. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap, that girl's unbelievable. Yosuke. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. I'm less mad at Kanji, he doesn't do this much. I gotta say, she's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. Wow. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This I believe. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. She beat me in every category. Gee, yeah, I know. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. Oh, no. Excuse me. Could I bother you for a moment? Uh, yeah, sure. What do you need? This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? Sure, no problem. I forgot to do it myself. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. Yeah, like I said, it's not a problem. You're fine. Yeah, you're you're doing a great job. No, I'm still struggling. Even with everyone's support, I'm barely pulling through. Mm. I used to get nervous very easily. And I once had a phobia of men, too. Okay. In fact... I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. I always looked up to her. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. Sounds like a great idea. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Yeah, no, no problem. Make sure I'll hand these out. Did I just hear her say special lecture? Yeah, I think so. We came all this way to be lectured? I mean, we, we, we came to a school, Yosuke. What did you think we were going to do, pool party? 
So now that Let's I say that, see, our class is. It's being taught by someone named Mr. Edagawa. The lecture's about Kabbalah. Kabbalah what? You don't know? It's a casino. What? So, when's our free period? Uh, ooh, we don't get one. Oof. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, at least we get some free time, Yosuke. Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later. Yeah, you see, Yukiko has the right idea. Welcome, it's nice to meet you all. A meeting is only the beginning stage of parting, the Alpha and the Omega. My name is Edi Edogawa, and I'll be keeping you company for this period. You all from Yasugami High, eh? Ah, uh, the high school of many gods. I had considered a lecture on Kabbalah philosophy, but I have a better idea. Since I was able to meet you all today, I should tell you a story of partings. One could say that it that this is Japan's oldest tale of curses. You all know about the gods who created this country, I assume. The two gods who gave birth to this country are the god Izanagi and the goddess Izanami. They got along very well, but one day Izanami died when giving birth to Kagets Ka Kagetsuchi, the fire god. Extremely saddened by this, Izanagi left for the land of the dead to bring back Izanami, Yomi, the dark, dark underworld. There, Iz Igana Izanagi asked Izanami, who had become a dweller in the Land of Shadows, to come back with him to the land above. The goddess replied by saying she would negotiate with the god of the Underworld and asked I Izanagi to wait for her. However, Izanagi became curious to know what was going on, so he broke his promise and set his comb alight to look around. What he saw was the goddess, goddess Izanami, whose body was completely covered in filth and maggots. Terrified, Izanagi ran away, but the enraged Izanami chased after him. After dodging many of the demons sent, sent after him, Izanagi reached the entrance of the underworld, uh, Yom Yomatsu Hirasaka. He set a, in place a large boulder as a barrier between the two worlds and got away unharmed. When the dreadful goddess reached the boulder, he said farewell to her. This is the curse known as the Kotodo. Again, sorry guys, I'm, I'm not Japanese, so I do not know how to pronounce all these words. If I pronounce them wrong, I apologize. I'm not Japanese, sorry. Curses beget curses, and Izanami said to the god, If you're going to treat me this way, then I will kill 1,000 of your humans in your world each day. Izanagi regretfully accepted the bonds between them were severed, saying, Then I shall give life to 1,500 each day. Thousands die, and 10,000s are born. That is the curse upon this country. Many of you may already have known this famous story. Now, the etymology, the names Izanagi and Izanami, come from the word Izanao, which means to invite. I'd be delighted if you have accepted this story today as an invitation to acquiring knowledge. That reminds me, in the olden days, people took this story seriously. Things such as lightning, only one fire at night, and throwing combs were taboo. Lighting only one fire at night and throwing combs were, tribute, were taboo. By the way, at Hana no Iwana, the grave where Izana Izanami is said to have descended to the underworld. To this day, people decorate it with flowers when they hold festivals nearby. It may be mere merely ceremonial, but everyone wants to look beautiful. Wants it to look beautiful. It's how they show their consideration to the goddess who may feel that way. Okay. That's sort of an interesting story. Ah, is our time up already? It may have gone on too long. You somehow survived the long lecture during the trip. So before we before we continue, I, I just want to point out that the first persona that we ever had was Izanagi, was our was our first persona. And I wonder if this story here is kind of foreshadowing the game as a whole perhaps we will perhaps our forays into the tv are like his delving into the underworld and as you guys can tell there's a big theme of truth through this game and what the truth really is so perhaps 
at some point when we get to the other world, we will be revealed with the truth and it will be, it will be a, an, an ugly truth that we don't want. And I, I think that's kind, maybe, maybe some light foreshadowing in the future events. I'm not really sure what it means. It's just kind of my, my literary take on it. Uh, later that night in front of the hotel. All righty, here we are. The Seaside Clamshell Inn. Wow, I don't, have I, heard, I don't know if I've heard her voice, like, do full voice lines yet, but, like, wow. We'll be staying here tonight. Is this really a regular hotel? A wave of agitation seems to be shredding through the group. So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but... It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a love... You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in. This is not our hotel, right? Oh no. I'm sure it's Isn't normal and fine. Funny about this place? I'm sure it's fine. Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I can't tell. Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. Yeah, I think it's better you don't say. <laughs> Faster than I expected. What? What? Wait, what? This is quite the hotel. That voice. It can't be. If they were to meet me, I wonder, what would the look on Yosuke's face be? That is Teddy's voice, right? Uh, who's that? Look, up there! <laughs> <laughs> it can't be. Oh my god, I almost just died. Oh my god. Yeah! Just the cats. Oh. Oh, Teddy. How did you even get here? We're on a school trip. Teddy, what are you doing here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir crazy. Ugh, if only I could detect people in the real world. How did you get here? Do you have some special ability? Eh, I took the train. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. Oh, you did that just to hang out with us, Teddy? That's awesome. I really appreciate that, bud. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean... Why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. It doesn't really answer his question there, Teddy. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. Oh, te Teddy, uh, bud, uh, about that promise. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh. Uh, good job, Teddy. <laughs> Did, did I promise that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Mm. Whee! You remembered, Chie chan Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Rise-chan, too? I don't think Rise ever made such any such promise, Teddy. Let's all go together, then. Is that all right with you? Mm. It's a deal. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. All right. I guess we can go shopping first, and I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping! That sounds great! <laughs> the other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just gonna go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Now, before the fun starts... <sighs> We gotta deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? 
That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals? You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here. Are, is, is he an animal? I took the slow train all this way. Do you hear? The slow train. Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? N no. Oh, crap. What's the matter? Oh, what's this giant teddy bear? Uh, um, I bought it. It, uh, su it's a souvenir. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it, it's my souvenir. My, it's so big. Please don't phrase it like that. Go on, hurry on inside with it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. Okay. But uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights or your bed will start spinning. Oh my god, it really is one of those hotels, guys. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted. For so many reasons. Mm, not really sure how much sleep we're gonna get here tonight, Yosuke. In any event, you'll have to do something about Teddy. Mm. Teddy's doing his best, best to act like a stuffed animal. Coming this far might be maybe Teddy's way of showing how much he genuinely, like, like, genuinely likes you all. You sense Teddy's strong trust. <gasps> yeah! Rank five! It's awesome! I gotta pee. <laughs> Teddy! Uh, we gotta get him inside. Day two of the school trip. In the afternoon, you toured Tatsumi Port Island. And that night, and we're at the Mall Club Escapade. Wait, Reese brought us to a club? Whoa! So this is a club. Okay. Woo! I'm totally ready for this! Uh nothing like this back home. Is it permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? I feel it's fair to ask you the same question. What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we yeah, were. Yeah, I think Yosuke and I are on the same page here. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Are you... asking me to stay? Yeah, why not? Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, I... it's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Well, I mean, you're free now, right? Well, you're free now, right? Thank, thank you, thank you, Risei. I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. How about it? Mm, very well, if you insist. Hmm. Huh? What's up? You look a little red. Th that's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Oh, you could you could do just do that. Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. Oh, awesome. <sighs> What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Reese reserved the second floor and made you all, and you all made a toast. Are you sure this is all right? Isn't it expensive? No worries. 
two years ago when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it and the gig was canceled. They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. Oh, nice. Too much for our benefit. Well, in that case, I'm going to order more. Woo! I'm not going to hold back either. You guys think they have steak here? Dude, you sound even weirder today. Oh, you're so cold, Kanji. Um, has he been drinking? Hmm. Kanji, Kanji, Kanji. I conjecture that something's up. <laughs> That's a great one. Oh, jeez. Man, you're already in high gear. <laughs> conjecture? <laughs> uh, she's looser than usual, too. Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? I told them to give us soft drinks. They're non alcoholic. Mm. I told them. Really, I did. Really. Uh. Oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. Is this seriously booze? <laughs> but the smells. King's game. I'm sorry, what? Rita? Times like this. Adults play the king's game. It's the law. <laughs> What's their problem? They make me act like a dit, call me resent and stuff, and then say I'm a kid? It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot funner after I go home. Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this game, Rise. Yet another side of Rise exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. It's like a, like a, like a drinking party game? Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready! What? Why me? The king's word is law! Chop, chop! It, it's already started? Um, what's this king's game again? I have no idea. Okay. One chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. Okay. Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. Yukiko, where'd you learn this stuff? Come on, everyone draw. Uh. Okay, I, I think I get the game, so. All the sticks are numbered, and one of them makes you the king, and then anything you say. They have to do, but you don't know who it is. You, you say the number of the person. Okay. You drew a stick. It says number six. Okay, so... Who's the king? Teddy's is red. Red! Is Teddy the king? Uh-oh. Uh, we're already doomed from the get-go. I feel like he's gonna go straight to 100 right out the gate. The king command thee to smooch the king without delay. Uh oh. Smooch. You went smooch. You went straight to a hundred, Teddy. Smooch. Please, God, grant me a girl. Number three. Ah! <laughs> it's Gunji. Number two. No take backs. <laughs> Smooch! Smooch! Kanji! So you were after my fuzzy fur! Okay. But it's my first time. Be gentle. I'm not gonna lie, I could totally see me and just my stupid group of friends playing this game, and it would just be ridiculous. Whoa, ow! Hey, quit that! Don't make me blind you, damn it! 
I would definitely need a drink or two to be very into it, but yeah. Kanji, no! Oh. Ooh Only the first round and two contestants have dropped out already. I heard smoochy noises. Huh? Is it that kind of game? On to round two! <laughs> you must be very careful here. Uh, oh no. Uh, the, the near one, I guess? You drew a stick. Uh oh, we're the king. I'm the king, baby. Who's the king? I am, I am the king. Phew. Someone decent. No crazy orders this time. At least Chie believes in me. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme. Oh, God. Chie, don't be such a party pooper. <laughs> hey! The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. I thought I was the king. Yeah, I thought I get to decide. Sit on his lap. Oh, or they could have to hug him. Uh, Better than that, a piggyback ride. I thought I like I. I Come on, king. Who's gonna do what? I was like, don't I? I don't I get to decide? Everyone's staring at you. What will your orders be? Um. Uh, I feel like all the- I don't- see, the problem is I don't know who they- they are. So I don't know who I'm- like, I guess, number two sits on my lap? Huh? Number two? Uh-oh, that's Chie. The king's order is... Absolute! <laughs> Those two are so into it! You gotta sit closer up. Yukiko, quiet! She is cringing with embarrassment. <laughs> me next! Me! I am the king! Actually, the queen. You didn't even draw a chopstick. Don't we have to. Th yeah, there's, there's rules. <laughs> Yukiko, there's rules. Alright then. Let's have someone talk about something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Oh, no, Token. I choose you. <laughs> Yukiko, there are rules. You've broken all of the rules. Without rules, what, what are breaking we? breaking all the rules. Just ignore her, Naoto. No. No, that won't be necessary. Wait, what? One stipulation, though. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. Okay. I feel like you will get more out of this than we will, but I am interested to learn more about you. Okay. No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? I guess. It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn, way to kill the mood. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. We lend our powers to the police from time to time. For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu Noha? In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Thus, my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. But investigators nowadays are well versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. That sounds tough. Uh, that's it? No punchline? <sighs> I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. Still, we learned a little bit about you. That's so embarrassing! Yukiko! Isn't Hotokun embarrassing? No! Oh my god! I wanna go home. Whew, I'm sleepy. 
Well then, it's your turn now. Straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder case? Wow, you jumped straight to the point. Well, I guess there's there's nothing we can hide from you. I mean, we go into a TV and we fight shadows with our personas, and we save people inside the TV. You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. I mean, if we tell him the truth, what is he gonna, what's he even going to think? Well, we go rescuing people who have been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. Oh, I mean, Yukiko, yeah, just, just say it. I mean, he's never going to believe us. And then we do stuff like personas with our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. You could have left that part out. You idiot! Are you making fun of me? There's no way you believe the truth. It's true! Persona! <laughs> oh. Oh my god. The, wor the worst part is I- Can put these two drunks to bed already? If I was in their situation, I could totally see myself doing that. Like, getting fucking shit-faced. And then being like, PERSONA! Oh my god. I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. I mean, you just... I mean, we did tell you the truth, you just didn't believe us. Sorry. But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. I mean, I also kind of figured that it wasn't since those two were just being weird. I mean, is it not? I'm very confused. Good one, Naruto! No, I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Who cares? <laughs> I feel so good. Good night! Mm. Hey, senpai! How the hell are we going to get back with two passed out drunks? Well, this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? Teddy's still totally okay. <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning. <laughs> Bring it on. As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. It's just that look on Naoto's face right now. It's just these, these fucking idiots. Are you a pack of imbeciles? Oh my god. The last night of the school trip drifts on. Third day of the school trip. It's like we stopped by a ramen place. Oh man, this is really something! This place serves the best ramen in town. I just want to point out, Nato is still with us. Like, we are morons. And they just were like, yeah, I think I'll, I'll keep hanging out with them, it's fine. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. Hmm? You're not hungry? Um, <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. She has that in my lap. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> I want noodles. Uh, this flavor never changes. God, I want noodles in real life. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Hmm, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Um, I'll have the hug a curry bowl. The hug a curry bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no prob. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. 
Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. Hmm. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. Now why is he wearing the bear suit again? I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Oh, I guess it is the last day. I guess we're leaving soon. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? You didn't eat it, did you? You didn't finish, so... <laughs> she was still eating it, Teddy. You have no idea. Teddy has no idea what happens if you take Yukiko's food and eat it. She will kill you. She almost killed me. I was going to finish it. Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. You little liar. Give me that check. Let's see here. Ten bowls? Ten? You made ten bowls of delicious ramen? Yuki-chan's makes it eleven. Ugh. Gross. I was going to finish mine. They were there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore. But now that it's over... I actually had a good time. Told you guys it was going to be a good time. You all were like, no, that's going to be educational. I'm like, it's going to be a great time. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. Um. A t-shirt, mochi, or lamp. She probably like mochi. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Mochi's good. I like mochi. Yo. Hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little. D dude. Hey, he ain't moving. He, is, is he okay? He ate ten bowls of ramen. Uh, is he hibernating? Hey. No, don't, don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious? Teddy! You, you guys realize Naoto is right there. Ah, <coughs> oh, Teddy! My tummy's heavy. Leave it behind. Oh my god, Yukiko. <laughs> Yukiko is so savage. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Yeah, see you later, Naoto. Just too bad, buddy. Farewell, Teddy. Yeah, we will. We will. We will miss you. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. <laughs> I love that everybody was into that. You all headed to the rendezvous point and then back home. All the days of a school trip passed by safely. Hey, Nanako. Welcome home. Thanks, Nanako. Did you have fun? Oh, I had a great time. We had to hung out with all our friends. It was great. But I think next time you gotta come with me. Yep, for sure. Um, I wanna go to Destiny Sea too. There's this roller coaster that goes whoosh into the water, and that sounds awesome, Nanako. Nanako is talking about it happily. Yeah, we brought uh some mochi for Nanako. I hope you like it, Nanako. Ooh, it looks so good. I'm gonna eat it right now. You can't eat all of it right now, Nanako. Nanako seems to like the mochi. Oh, hi, Dad. Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Uh, I just, I pretty much just got back in. Look, my big bro got me a souvenir. Hey, nice. Did you remember to thank him? Of course. Nanako, don't eat all the mochi. Uh oh. Huh. 
I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. Hey, you know, I wanted to bring back something nice for Yonako. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. No, it was, it was a lot of fun. I'm just glad I got to spend time with my friends there. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. It's interesting that you bring up Naoto. Uh, yeah, he went with us. We hung out with him a little bit. You talked to him much? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we kind of did. He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. Yeah, uh, for sure. I'll see what I can't do. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. His argument? At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. I wonder what... I guess Naoto disagrees with the police's assessment? Adults can be a selfish bunch. Yeah. Dojima has a kind look in his eyes. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Yeah, I probably should head off to bed. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Yeah, for sure. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? Nanako's in there just stuffing her face full of mochi. The school trip is over, and it's another peaceful Sunday morning. Nothing of note happened while you were away. And I guess we'll figure out what we're doing with our Sunday in the next episode. Thank you guys. I like to try to contain the major events inside singular episodes, so you'll, uh, hopefully you'll forgive me that this episode was a little longer than my normal episodes are, and I hope you'll join me next time for continuing of our school life. Bye!